Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com and I want to welcome you to this week's Dyes Shorts. And I want to apologize right from the beginning because I, I, I hate, oh, well first let me get over in the group. Ba, 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 ba. All right, let's see here. Refresh, refresh. All right. And then I can see any comments. Okay, so I want to apologize um, before I get started with the video um, because you're going to want everything so you can make this card. I'm just telling you the truth because I almost peed my pants when I'm making it because it is so so cute oh my gosh so hi mary hi jackie hi stacy um hopefully you're having a good week it's it's almost over it, it's almost over so um um hi chris marcy so anyway so yeah this card super super cute just get your your uh pencil down and write down all these sets <laughs> all right so and Rhonda and deborah Awesome, I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so before we get started with the card, we do have, um, I have remi reminding you, and let me flip the, the, let me flip the, the phone. Let me flip the phone so you don't have to keep looking at my face. Okay, all right, hold on. I'm gonna flip the phone. All right, very good. Okay, so before we show the adorable card, Today is the last day to sign up for the Over the Border with Diane Marcy. And that is the Hey Birthday Chick. And you are getting the dies. Now look at mine are all jumbled. So this one may not even be in that one. Oh, it is. Because I, ha I use both of them together. So I should be showing you this side. Because I put a piece, I put a, um, the picture inside. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Debbie. Um. I put the picture inside the envelope so when I'm done using them then I can put the right pieces in the right one because they're just so interchangeable when you're using them but um so make sure that you sign up by today if you live in the in the America you will um, sign up with me and if you are in Canada you'll sign up with Marcy um, and then we do the class in zoom and it streams in a private facebook group um, as well so that way you can go back and redo the video and pause it and stuff like that and that way if you're not able to do the zoom um because some people you know are shy or their work or whatever reason you can go back all right <clears throat> so let me put that aside so let me show you the stuff that we're going to be using today we are going to be actually using da -da -da, the birthday chick die and hey birthday chick how about that isn't that just a coincidence so we're using that we're also using the st stitched so sweetly die I am using I need to move my phone up because the stacks gonna get pretty high we're also using painted poppies we are also using shark frenzy an adorable set that you're all gonna want to get all right we are also using hey girlfriend and you have to say it just like that hey girlfriend um we're also using that and okay that's it all right so those two things i wasn't sure if i was going to use that one okay so those are what we're using I'm just gonna stick them behind me on my bench okay so let's get started with the cute card we are also using granny apple green so that's our card base and I love that we have a card stock that's called granny apple and we have one that's poppy parade and I was raised by my granny and papa so poppy's pretty close so it's it it just um does my heart good okay so we are using granny apple green and i just gave it a score 
I'm also using the Flower and Field DSP. And I chose these designs, and then they have this on the back, so you could choose, you know, whatever size, side, but that's the two I, I chose. I also want a piece that's going to go here. So let me set that aside. But I told you I was using the chickens. So these little girls here, I, I uh, stamped them ahead of time and cut them out because that way they're good and dry. All right, so let me put them on here. And they are just stamped with memento. And I am going to color them really, really quick. And um, so hopefully that's okay. I like to color. All right, so it doesn't take very long to color these at all. I'm like, oh my gosh, hang on. I need to fix my lights. They are reflecting in my phone glass and it's about blinding me. Okay, so I'm going to put little cute pink cheeks on my girls. Super easy with the light flirty flamingo, a little bit of dark petal pink, and then I'll also do the light. So I'm barely coloring these girls because they're just a white chicken, but I want to put just a little bit of a color on their heads. All right, and then let's do some Poppy Parade on their little waddle and their comb. All right, so this is just a light, soft suede just to give my Poppy Parade a little bit of a base to lay on. And then, although that was the light, I want to grab the dark. All right, so the dark poppy parade. And I just love how it just pops. It makes that comb and the waddle just pop right off. And I'm just tapping because it's just a small area. And then finish with the light. Super quick. Super, super quick. A little bit of pumpkin pie on the beak. And this is just a dark. It's too small to even worry about blending it out. Now the um, chicken, since she's white, I don't want to not color her so then it looks like I have forgot about her. So I'm just using my light gray granite. And I'm just simply touching her here and there, a little bit on that leg. And I'm just kind of touching her lightly because I do want her to be a white chicken, but even white has tones to it. All right, around the corner and just quick. She's just very, very quick. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Jenny. All right, so there's our little chickens already cut. All right, let me move those out of the way. All right, then I have my um, Stitched So Sweetly. Let me put these blends out of the way. So we have our Stitched So Sweetly. Let me get it so you can see it. All right, so I'm going to use my, so anybody that has been around chickens know that they poop a lot. They do. They poop a lot. Now, they don't poop as much as the ducks, but they still poop. So, we're going to put some colorful decorations on this thing. Now, we are not going to call it poop. It's just going to be some fun, but I'm just telling you, they do poop. All right, so this is from the Poppy. And I'm just putting it around. I love the the um the poppy set because it's got these splattery watercolory looks that are just amazing. All right, then it has this awesome splattery here. And this one I'm doing Granny Apple. And these colors are in the DSP. So I'm just splattering that around. 
It also has, hi Tracy, oh my VFF, my VFF is watching. All right, can you tell I had a little bit of sugar today? All right, and then there's this little splash too. So I'm just splattering a little bit around. All right, that's good. Not too much. All right, so we have, this is our little background. Let me put the ink pad so I try not to get my arm in them. All right, oh, you know what I forgot? Oh, Diana, you're a turd. Okay, we're gonna redo that one because it's a die short, but that was fast. All right, I'm still gonna use that later, but not on this card. All right, I forgot the whole fun. All right, so this is from the shark. And this is from the shark set. I forgot I wanted to put this little greeting. I'm a, I'm a silly, silly, silly. All right, so we have our, now, this is from the shark set and it's, see, Tracy, I'll blame you, but I saw your name after, so it's not your fault. <laughs> All right, so this is actually do, 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 right? When you watch Jaws, but I'm not gonna pronounce it that way and I'll pronounce it later how I'm going to do it. All right, so let's go back with our splotches. Because I wanna leave that, you know, I want there to be that space, so. All right, then our granny apple. Granny apple. Granny apple. Let's see, granny apple. Aren't they fun? I love the splotches, oh my gosh. And it does, we can just pretend it's colorful poop. You know, it's around Easter time, so we've got colorful chicken poop. All right, so there we have our, our background. So then let me let it dry, cause see it's just a little bit wet, so I don't wanna be touching it. So let me, while that's drying, I'm gonna put my card together. So I have just a piece of granny apple, cause I just want that good and dry. Because then otherwise, I'll get it on my fingers and then I'll have more of a mess. All right, so I'm just putting that there. And then, so I did a card, I've done a few cards like this where I kind of put them on like cattywampus. So it's the same kind of thing. So we have our, this is that DSP and I want it to be kind of crooked on the card because I wanna be able to see it like peeking out. And then I have this one. And I thought this was perfect because it kind of would be like the chicken feed, you know, the little the little um, corns or whatever. So that's gonna go on there. And then we're going to take this. So this is gonna go on here. And I'm just gonna use my um, dimensionals. So we're using our dimensionals. I'm just using the big ones. And I put one in the center because we don't want our center to be saggy. We don't want any center saggy. All right. Hi, Ian. Okay, so that's gonna go on here. And really it could go like any which way. It could, I'm even gonna make this be kind of crooked. All right, then we're gonna put our little chickens on. All right, so I'm gonna put dimensionals on two of them. I mean, I'm gonna put glue dots on two of them. So I'm just putting glue dots. So this little girl's over here. Then put glue dots on this one. She's here. Get back in the frame, Diana. Okay, then I wanna put dimensionals on the middle girl. Now these girls, to me, from the first time I saw them, and I'm just putting them down the center so that the, the dimensionals will just be in here. They, to me, look like a dancing chicken. You know, she looks happy, she looks like she's dancing. So, 
this is kind of like a chorus line of chickens, but there's only three of them. So instead of going do 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 do, you're going do 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 do, like they're happy, okay? So they're singing, they're not, you know, it's not a scary do 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 do, it's a happy do 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 do. So I thought, you know what? She's in the front. She loves to like show off. You know, she shoved her way to the front. All chickens pretty much look alike, but they say, even though you, you could have a whole flock of the same kind of chicken, they will know the individual, even though they all look alike. Okay, so then inside the shark, let's just push that aside a little bit. Inside the shark set, we have a cute little hat and a cute little purse. So I thought, let's make her really stand out. So this is the dark mango. And then this is the dark so saffron. Let's see, let me pull them out so I'm not rattling. I don't wanna be rattling, okay. Then we have our pool party. So we're gonna do pool party on this little flower is gonna have pool party. I also want the purse to have some pool party. And I'm basically, I'm just choosing these colors because I want everything to coordinate. It goes with the DSP. It goes with the inks I've used. That's what I love about Stampin' Up. Everything coordinates just amazing. All right, and then I want my pool party. And this is small enough, I really don't need it to put this saffron. All right, so this is pool party. Marcy, you know what's happening, don't you? Okay, so we have this cute little hat and this cute little purse. And now I'm just going to cut them out with my cute little scissors. Okay, so we're just gonna cut it out. I love making a scene in regards to cards. All right, so cut it out really, really simply. So there's a little purse. Cut out the hat, cut all this extra stuff off. Make sure you can see. So I'm just going around, simple, simple. Like I showed you the other day, you move the paper, you don't move the scissors. So, all right, so there was our little hat. Now what I wanna do is, where's that piece of paper? So this is that piece of cardstock. Just to get that white line off of there, I'm gonna take my mango and I'm just gonna go around the hat and that's just going to get that white line off of there. So it's not as noticeable. Okay, so we have our little purse and our little hat. So let's bring these girls back. So we have our glue dots. So I'm gonna put a glue dot on the hat. I'm gonna put a glue dot on the purse. Let's see. So we've got our little hat. We're just gonna put a little hat on this girl in the front. And she brought her purse too. I don't know if, if you got, if you watch um, Keeping Up Appearances on PBS, oh my gosh, it is like a BBC show. It is hilarious. And there's the hyacinth lady and she's so, she I think she thinks she's the queen or something, but, um. So anyways, I was watching it last week and she had to get out and push the husband's car and she <laughs> took her purse with her. She said it was just hilarious. So if you have um, BBC or, or the um, um, PBS or whatever, you, you wanna look for it, it is hilarious. Okay, so now we're gonna do the inside of the card. So I just cut a strip of the DSP so it matches. And I'm just going to glue that on the bottom of a little strip of the granny apple. 
and I'm gonna do I want to have a little bit I'm gonna have a little tiny bit of a border on the bottom okay so then that's going to go on the inside of the card and look I found another refill they're my fuse I thought I was all the way out I think I have only one left now all right so this is going on the inside of the card and then it's a little longer so I just trim it this is such a me card isn't it Trace oh my gosh I love I love these girls okay now this is not one of the cards you will be doing for the class we've already got those designed but you totally could make this once you get yours okay so we have our little thing now we have to do the inside of the card right all right so I'm gonna put my mat because now I'm going to be using a, a photopolymer stamp set so this is the I love you from the shark set so it's gonna say I love you and then we have this cute little greeting let me wash that off this is the cute little greeting from the Hanko friend Hanko friend set and it says I want to make sure I've got it inked up good let me make sure All right it says you're a tough act to follow. Isn't that perfect? Oh my gosh. All right. So let that dry real good. Bring the card back over. Let that dry. I had inked my pads so they're nice and juicy. They are nice and juicy. All right. And we'll put this on the inside. okay so we have our pretty little card on the inside i love granny apple oh my gosh i love 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 granny apple it's such a cute green and the flower and field um dsp love it so there's the inside so here is your fun little do 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 i love you you're tip back to follow and and that is the truth so so here is the one I was looking at so you can see I have like a mess everywhere so you can see here's the one I was looking at even though I was looking at one I still like forgot to do the do 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 but they look very 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 similar here is the first one I did and so this is more plain so this one actually has more um of a country kind of look to it so this uses the ice cream paper and I liked this because it reminded me um like, like our no climb that we have so and this has more of the chicken poop color than these two but it's basically the same card but one is just more um more festive right but anyways so um so let me turn the turn the thing around so I can say have a good weekend. But wasn't that fun? Aren't you like going, okay, I need that shark set. I need this and that and this and that. So yeah, everybody needs the shark set. So, and here I am in all my excitement again with my nose. <laughs> so, but um, so I'm glad you like it. It just was like I've been wanting to do um what did I call, what did I say the, those girls are? It, I can't think. I said it during the video. But, um, the chorus line. I've been wanting to do a chorus line. So I still might. I might do, um, I might do one of the, the long, long cards. Oh, I have like no brain today. You know, the long cards. And had do a bunch of chickens and then some in front because I just think it would be so much fun. Yeah, sister, it is. It's it's a Diana card for sure. So, um, but anyway, so I just want to um oh so you don't so 
You don't have the shark. So the shark is very, very cute. And it's in the, um, let's see. Let's see how much the shark is. That makes me think I'm talking about a vacuum cleaner. All right, hang on a minute. The shark, oh, my silly nose. All right, I probably don't need my sweater on. It's warm here. The shark, page 46. Page 46 is only, I think, $17. Where's it? And they have a dye. Oh, I'm, such a, I'm such a goober. I could have just used the dye to cut out the hat. But, um, so anyway, so the, the, um, the, sh the bundle, if you do the bundle with the shark, it's only $37.75. And that's in America. That's in the United States. But I forgot that it had a, had a dye. But it was very quick to um, cut out the hat, you know, just for that. But, um, but oh my gosh, there's a lot of fun, fun pieces in the dye. So I just thought I would maybe give you another um, idea, you know, to use with the chickens. And now the sharks. Okay, so I'm going to say see you later, and I um, wasn't sure if I would ever use a shark set. I know, right? I love when things have little things. Remember when we had the cow set, and we had the pig set, and I was kissing those cows with the pig lips. The pig came with these cute little, little kisses, so I always like to look at stamp sets. I might think, you know what, I'm not going to use that, but when they have little things in them, you can use them with other sets. So um, always, you know, kind of like keep that in mind when, oh, where did the hat come from? Mary, that comes from the shark. Um, so see, here's the shark set. So look it, it's got like a mustache or a toupee, you know, however you use it. And it, look, it has glasses. I was gonna try to put the glasses on the chicken, but, and then it has a little monocle. It is adorable. And like, so there's a little purse, you know, the purse, there's a little bow. So I might be, um, I might be dressing up my chickens a little bit more, but it's got some cute sayings too, like grandma and grandpa. See, BFF, you need this one cause it has grandma and grandpa in it. And I love you, mommy and daddy. So, um, it's got eyelashes out oh, and see, look at, it has this, um, this necklace. I almost put the necklace on, on the chicken. So I still might, you know, dress them up a little more, but, um, but she kind of looked countryfied with her little, um, mini pearl hat. I might have to put like a little price tag on there. Howdy. So anyways, all right. No more sugar for me today, and um, have a great weekend, and we will see you on, uh, well, Monday is my mimeograph Monday, and that's pre-taped, but if you let me know um, by Sunday, if there's something in particular that you would like me to do for the mimeograph Monday, and that's just me, I case something on the catalog, um, let me know so that I can... I can um, do it on the Sunday and get it taped to, to go on for Monday. And otherwise, the next um, live will be um, here in, in the Facebook group on, on for my Teach Me Tuesdays at 3 o'clock. And um, 3 o'clock Arizona time, okay? If you are watching on the, um, the YouTube channel, Thanks for um, visiting. I would love if you would subscribe and hey, head on over and, and join our Facebook group as well. It's always fun when um, we can chat, even if hopefully you don't mind me chatting. <laughs> but it gets boring, right? It gets lonely stamping all by yourself. So this makes it makes it fun to stamp together kind of this way. All right, so I'm going to, um, hey, Barbara, say hi to Will. Give him a big hug for me. All right. Um, so I will say see you later. Have a great weekend and um, I'll see you next week. All right. Bye.